Hello and welcome back to topic one, system fundamentals. And this time we're looking at part two, which has described the need for change management. And this is for the IB diploma in computer science. Okay, as you can see here, topic one, system fundamentals. We've also got two, three, and four when we're looking at the um, standard level course, higher level on this side. Okay, so here we go. The systems in organizations is 1.1 and we're on the second part, as I say, this is a second video, describe need for change management. Okay, we've also got user focus, which we'll move on to after this first videos, and then we can break it down into system backup and the other two here. Okay, so what is change management? Well, we want to improve, we want to change our computer system in a particular company, or we're gonna merge two companies together and adapt the computer system and make it better to suit the sort of both companies. So change management is a structured approach to planning and guiding individuals, teams, and organizations through a significant transition or transformation. As I say, possibly a merger, possibly the upgrading, upsizing, or maybe either even downsizing. It involves the process of preparing, supporting, and helping people and organizations adapt to change to achieve their desired goals or their outcomes. And change management, it is important because change can be disruptive and upsetting. Um, it can be unsettling if, if not managed properly. It can lead to resistance, low morale, and project failure, um, certainly amongst the team members you've got in your organization. What are the issues? I've just touched upon a couple there, but main issues in terms of change management, obviously transitioning from one computer system to another can be complex and challenging, a challenging process for any organization. There are several issues that commonly arise during the change management process. For example, lots of people fear change, and this first example, resistance to change, while well, the employees may resist switching to a new system due to fear of the unknown concerns about their ability to adapt or simply because they, they're uncomfortable with the existing system and don't really want to change from it. Overcoming this resistance is a significant challenge, certainly for the management team or the people who are going to be implementing this change. A lack of training, inadequate training can lead to frustration and errors when employees try to use a new system. Proper training programs are essential to ensure that employees understand the new system and can use it effectively. Um, data migration. Obviously, a company is going to have a lot of data, and this data needs transferring from the old system to the new one, and this can be problematic. Incomplete or inaccurate data migration can lead to errors and inconsistencies in the new system, affecting operations and decision making. Integration challenges. If the new system needs to integrate with existing systems or software, compatibility issues can arise. Ensuring seamless integration is crucial for the smooth functioning of different business processes. Okay, there's obviously going to be some downtime in terms of switching from one computer system to another, and this will cause disruption. Transitioning between systems often involves this downtime, which can disrupt regular business operations. Okay, some people might have to come in at the weekends or, or come in during non-business hours to sort out this migration problem. Uh, minimizing downtime and planning for contingencies are critical to mitigate the impact of productivity and customer service. If you've got customers that rely on you 24-7, it could be a very difficult operation. Budget overruns. Implementing a new computer system can be very expensive. Unexpected costs such as additional training, customization, or addressing unforeseen issues can lead to budget overruns if not properly managed. Obviously, vendor-related issues, well, what are these? Well, sometimes we depend on external vendors for software support and updates, and this can lead to uncertainties. Issues such as delaying responses, lack of support, or miscommunication can impede the change management process. There may be an employee skill gap, and this might be, as we touched upon in the first instance, this, this fear, this fear of change. If the new system requires skills that current employees lack, there may be a skill gap. Addressing this gap through Addressing this gap through training or hiring new talent is essential to maximize the benefits of the new system. Okay, but people do not want to fear that they're going to lose their job because they don't currently have these skills. There are obviously security concerns. Uh, obviously, transitioning data and operations to a new system can raise security concerns. Ensuring that the new system is secure and that employees understand and adhere to new security protocols is crucial for safeguarding sensitive information. Then we've got the user experience. If a new system is not user-friendly, employees may struggle to perform their tasks efficiently. They may not like it, and they might be actively against it. Poor user experience can lead to frustration and reduce productivity. So, in conclusion, 
Engaging employees, addressing their concerns, and providing necessary resources and support can significantly improve the success rate of transitioning from one computer system to another. Idea In an ideal world, everybody needs to be happy. To address these issues, organizations need a comprehensive change management plan that includes thorough training, effective communication, careful planning, and ongoing support. Okay, so... I've just put an exam question on an example exam question from a past paper. I've adapted it a little bit because it's part of a two part question. But other than data migration, describe two aspects of change management that could arise if a company with its computer system is taken over by another. Okay, well, in the video, we've just been talking about them, but I've, I've chosen cultural integration and IT system integration. Well, the first one, this process involves merging the unique cultures, values, and ways of working from both companies. It's essential to foster understanding and open communications amongst employees. En encouraging a shared company culture and values helps employees adapt to the new environment, promoting cooperation and teamwork. Okay, this is where we're merging two companies together. Okay, IT system integration, integrating computer systems and technology infrastructures is complex. It includes merging data, applications, and IT processes. Seamless integration is crucial to prevent disruptions in business operations. There will be some downtime, as I mentioned, but that needs to be kept to a minimum. Expert planning is necessary to align technology strategies, address security concerns, and establish new IT governance structures. This ensures the integrated systems work effectively and securely, allowing for a smooth transition. In conclusion, both aspects require careful planning, effective communication, and expert guidance to successfully manage the changes resulting from company takeover. It's a short video, but that's it for 1.1.2, change management. Okay, I'll see you next time for 1.1.3. Please continue to ask questions, leave your comments, hit notifications, and please subscribe. And finally, if you wish to buy me a coffee, I'd be truly grateful. Please visit buymeacoffee.com forward slash learning zone. Thank you very much indeed. See you next time. Bye for now.